Hey, 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 So after our little trip to Japan's one and only desert, today we have made it to Shimane Prefecture. We have been to visit its shrine that is famous for married couples, the whole countrywide is in Taisha, and today we have made it to Hamada City. So Hamada City is famous for its Nodogoro, no, for its Nodogoro, ma, Nodogoro, Guro. Noroguro, which is a fish. And today it is bright and early. We have been blessed with beautiful weather once again in the West. It's coming up to 10 o'clock and we are ready to eat some. So we are just coming up to the port now. Are? Are? Just there. Yeah. Wow. Yes! You guys off! Gotta rush to beat the crowd. <laughs> So we just entered and the smell of fish is like intense. <laughs> it's literally a fish market and then upstairs is a food court so it's really really fresh. <laughs> I've never had fresh fish like this fresh. <laughs> So they say to grab a seat first and then make your order. So it's just a food court right above the fish market. It's super quiet. 10 a.m. in the morning. This will be probably the most delicious breakfast that we've had in a while. So let's go and order. <laughs> Nicely, they also do already a big rice for free. Yeah. Uh, so since this is probably breakfast and lunch at 10 a.m. We uh, got that too. So we changed our seats because from here you get... Is us? No? <laughs> okay. From here you get a view of the sea so you can see where your food came from this morning. Just nice little port town, mm -hmm. looking at the sea, right. eating. So actually, I've never really been to a fish market to eat before. I know that Suji is like a huge thing in Tokyo yeah. and like all of the tourists that went there before it closed or renovated or whatever. But this is the first time. Is that us? Not sure. Is that us? Probably us. There's no one else. Okay. Should I get it? I think so. Excitement, excitement, panic, confusion, excitement. <laughs> oh, oh I see, yeah. I see, I see. Okay, okay. So oh, we yeah, have yeah. number two. We have number three. I see, I see. We have number four. We have number five. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go, go. Too much excitement. Oh my god, the smell is incredible. So, uh, first time, not a good one. Not all good or how do you say? It's not something I've ever tried. It's apparently very, very expensive, but here it's fresh, cheap. Yeah. So anyway. Maybe, yeah. So we have donburi and miso soup. And dashi. So you can do ochazuke at the end or something. So it's like two meals in one. <laughs> Far too much excitement this morning. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I kinda wanna try it just on its own first. Aborista. First taste, yeah. It's a very fatty white fish, so grilled fat. I've never had fish like that before. That much? No, like actually. What? That's so good. <laughs> like, I've had fatty tuna before, and then actually like fatty salmon as well. And when they grill it, you get that kind of nice creamy kind of yeah, taste, yeah. but it's so light. So I've heard that the sashimi is kind of a little bit chewy. It's got like a little bit of chew. But this just melts. Yeah. Yeah. That is absolutely delicious. This is. Show you more. Okay. Show okay, 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 okay. It's so good. <laughs> that like slightly charred, grilled kind of taste. That is delicious. Try some. Delicious, man. You've been wanting this since yeah. Ishikawa? We saw like Nodoguro in Noto or something, mm. but it was so expensive. Two times we saw something. Yeah. Now, we'll just meet it. It's like beautifully grilled. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. Like, actually. Come here, guys. Come here. Tell me, have you ever tried fish like that before? Never. Mm. New fish sensation. <laughs> this oil is crazy. And like, oil, when you say oil, that sounds kind of not good, but it is, right? It's like 
クリーミークリーミーあのうまみがすごいあはそういうソースでございます<笑><笑>なんだろうこの不思議な、はい、オイルそうテイスティング。It feels like it's covering all of the rice, right? Like there's、yeah. almost no dressing. I don't know, maybe there is, but it feels like almost all of that flavor is just coming from the fat rather than anything else, right? わかるかこの so shiny, like oily. I don't think they add no that kind of taste. これはやばい。Aha, it was worth the wait. <laughs> It's weird, it like it flakes. It's almost like a little bit in texture, like cod, I think, actually. Yeah. But the taste is just entirely different. <laughs> I feel like that would almost ruin it. Like the tastiest white fish or something. Yeah, like it's so light. And they do say it is the tastiest, the richest white fish, which I guess explains why it's so expensive. Yeah. So, I heard、mm. that if you want to buy a kilo of this,、mm. it goes for like as much as like a hundred dollars or something. Just for a kilo. They're not big, so I guess it,、mm. it makes sense that it's quite pricey. You need probably a lot of them to make. Yeah, not like、bowl. tuna, not the big.、Mm. Yeah, but. Majid. Just can't stop smiling. What's this? New fish. Fast. <laughs> like, really fatty, like. Salmon, but not like so strong.、It. No, it is、yeah. almost meat. Just come and eat. <laughs> yeah. Please. Not that like common fish. Like you wouldn't find it in a sushi restaurant. You wouldn't find it in a supermarket. I think you have to go to kind of like high end places. Or like expert about Don't Look Around. Yeah. If you think you know fish, even if you're Japanese and you eat sushi all the time, this is just a different, different level of fish. <laughs> 100%. I've never had fish this good in my life, I don't think. Never. <laughs> So happy right now. Look at that little like chard. <laughs> Sorry, just showing you again. Do you even do YouTube if you don't do the close up like that? Like that little chard bit just makes such a huge difference, i s n t it? Yeah, and how many layers do you have? Like 20, like 30, 20. It's really good value for money, actually. Like for us in general, it's a little bit expensive, but for that experience, that first time trying it, and because it is so much cheaper than the rest of Japan, you can't not. <laughs> I think this is the best k a i s e n no, actually. Ever. Ever. In your entire life. At least, most surprised. You heard it here first. <laughs> the best. So, at what point do you turn it into Otsuzuki? No. <laughs> that much? <laughs> I'm, I'm so surprised. I think that's, that's fine. Okay. Sh shall we? Yeah. Tanoshimi. You can see like the little droplets of oil. That is perfect for like this kind of season. Oh.、Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. The best in your life? めっちゃ好きこれやばだしあのオイルめちゃめちゃ、うん、うまみがでも半端ないの、right? だつ最後に醤油と喉黒とわさびとだしがもうくっとこれはもうパレードですねおいしそうにお待ちのお客様なんかそのオイルヘビーって感じしないんだよねうんオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょうかオメガ3オイルを食べてみましょう
So we have made it to our next location, Suwano town, which is also known as Little Kyoto in Shimane. So right now we are at Taikodani Inari, which is probably where it gets that nickname from. So beautiful, beautiful vermilion red shrine with an absolutely stunning view of the town. Look at that. Uh -huh. I have heard that although it's quite quiet today, this is the second most visited shrine in all of Shimane. It is also the fifth greatest Inari shrine in Japan. So I think it's time for us to explore the grounds a little bit. The feature of Inari Shrine is like uh, this red building, red tori. But I think the interesting part about this, unlike in Kyoto with Fushimi Inari, it has that kind of signature Shimane thing with like the big ropes, right? The yeah. straw rope. Shima... How's it called? Shima... Shimenawa. Shimenawa. That's really massive. I know that Izumo has like the biggest one in Japan, but I'd say these are pretty sizable too. I've never seen this in the rest of Japan, actually, <laughs> this size. And then, of course, part of the Inari Thing is the Inari God. But Emma, that's so cool too. Instagram. Okay. And of course, it wouldn't be an Inari shrine without all the red toddy gates. <laughs> Apparently, I read online that there's at least a thousand. Yeah. I don't know, like, I hadn't really heard of this place until we decided to come to Shimane. I don't know why it is not more famous. I guess amongst Japanese people, if it is the fifth greatest in all of Japan, it must be quite famous and it probably has quite a lot of tourists. But speaking as a foreigner, I had no idea this place existed. And I think with how gorgeous it is, it should be way more popular. And also, they have the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess they'll last longer that way. Yeah. I, I feel like we should have counted them all now. <laughs> so many. I think we have to come back up again based on uh, everyone's panting at the top, so <laughs> I guess we can count on the way back. I guess. Okay. Reach yes. the end. Right. We have left our van all the way back up there. So on the way up we will count how many Tori we find and we'll see you back in the van. So here we are back in the van. Yeah. 678 steps, a lot of sweat and four very tired legs later. Are <laughs> So I guess not including the uh, entrance and the tiny little toddy. Little one. Yeah. Little. Maybe maybe there were about a thousand but from what we counted just going up and down the little pathway it was about 678. The things you know when you do a lot of exercise. I don't know about you but I am very hot and ready to get out and see the town and also I've worked up a bit of an appetite despite our big breakfast for some sweets, haven't you? Yeah! So let's go and see the town. <laughs> One of the main reasons that I really wanted to come to this town in particular is because of the carp. Straight out of the car park. Here they are. It's massive. Too. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you have a leaf on your nose, Mr. Carp? Or Mrs. Carp? So if you remember from our travels before, we went to Hida Furukawa, which also is quite famous for its waterway with the koi carp. Here is a little bit similar, so I'm very, very curious to see if the pictures online really do it justice, because the town, in pictures at least, looks gorgeous. We're heading to the main street door. Quite <laughs> Not like many things, but so simple. I'm guessing that place over there with all the people is uh, where we can see the koi. <laughs> and, and this is that. <laughs> oh, oh, the koi. The koi. oh my goodness. That is crazy. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. The biggest koi I've ever seen. <laughs> the scale is totally different to Hida Furukawa. They are just absolutely massive. And it's just like, it's proof of how clean the water is. I mean, look how crystal clear that is. Happy yeah. koi. So this little canal runs all the way through this main street, which I think is like old merchant and samurai houses. So it's a very old traditional town, a little bit like Hida Furukawa. And I'm guessing 
maybe like Hida Furukawa, this place gets quite a bit of snow. So that might explain why all this water is so clean. It might be because the coil cleaning it. Who knows? All I know is that it's very pretty. <laughs> Stop. My, my head. Like, I'm, just, I'm kind of scared. Like, <laughs> my hand. Compare that to the size of the Noroguro, please. Uh -huh. So smooth. <laughs> Aww, there are a couple, maybe. I think I'm gonna touch it. My <laughs> hand. Yeah. I feel like this is definitely one of those like, tell me you live in Japan without telling me you live in Japan kind of moments. Like, it's not every day that you see a fish that big. <laughs> So I guess all of that clear water equals delicious sake because even now a lot of those old buildings are sake breweries. There's also all of these old residences and they've got all these like gorgeous like kind of orangey red roofs that you yeah, just don't that, see that is... in Tokyo at least. No. That's so cool. <laughs> Very unique to Shimane yeah. actually I think. Shimane or area. Totori or like uh -huh. around here. West, northwest. <laughs> yeah. So we've come to the next street along where we have found ourselves right outside Yamamoto Fumido Very close to the trains apparently Where they sell Tsuwano's speciality sweet Genji Maki You can like feel the tradition in the shop, can't you? It's almost like an antique store slash sweet shop, but yeah. this is what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. So just as I was about to unwrap them, uh, the kind owner of the store said, oh, if you're eating inside, then you get tea as like a service. And she's also giving us a fresh made one and cutting it in half for us, extra service on the house. So while we wait for the hot one. I'll explain first of all what a Genji Maki is. So you can see it's the red bean paste. You can choose either the Suguan or the Koshian. And it's wrapped lovingly in this little Castella cake. Yeah. So I have heard that in some stores you can try and make it yourself, but if you can get it hot on the house, can't get better than that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good. Right, I'm just gonna have to. I can't. I can't yeah. wait while it's still hot. You too. Mhm. My my my. So sweet. That walk up and down the toy gates. Definitely needed something like this. That is delicious. This <sighs> one. Mmm. Right. So soft. But outside it's like really sick. Mm -hmm. And like just the right sweetness too. So this is the soft one. This is koshiam. Yeah. Just having it warm. It's just yeah, the hospitality in this place is just insane. Like so kind. Yeah. It's such a nice atmosphere. Like I feel like I've just been transported back in time eating this with the samurai. So if you buy it as omiyage, it comes like this. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> Let's try this bit. Okay. Like a mm, different taste. Which is best? Both are nice, really nice, but I prefer the last one. Because it's warm. Yeah, maybe. Apparently, you gotta leave it to the professionals. <laughs> yeah. mm. It really does have a different taste. Right? Weirdly, for people in the UK who might understand this, the cake is almost like Jaffa cake. Like a tiny little bit of cake with almost like a fruity filling. It's beans, but it's almost like a fruit. More bean bean. Mm -hmm. The other one is more like paste paste. <laughs> Professional tasting opinions. <laughs> so the reason that this is called a Genji Maki comes from the tale of Genji. So if anyone who doesn't know what the tale of Genji is, doesn't know much about Japanese history or literary history, the tale of Genji is the first novel ever made. And apparently 
way back when, the samurai's wives and children were sent to Edo, which is now Tokyo, and they weren't allowed to leave, so they were kind of held hostage there. Some of them had actually never been to their hometowns, and so when they were finally freed, the samurai's wife of Suano came and was given one of these and uh, apparently she loved it so much she likened it to the tale of Genji. I'm not really sure why but to me it just tastes like good sweets. <laughs> just saying on it. Oh, <laughs> so we're now at Suano station waiting for a train. My only regret is that it's not the SL liner, but we have seen it just downstairs. It is instead a very cute little train. <laughs> Hi. It's just two. Yeah. Hi. But somehow, just like the SL liner, just like the fish, everything seems to just match the atmosphere. <laughs> this old judicial town. Yeah. Cute little train. It has been an awesome day out from start to finish. Nodoguru. Nodoguru ne. Nodoguru kara. Nodoguru kara. Backthroat. Tsuwa no. Ii ne. Kimane saiko da ne. I mean. <laughs> what? What? Can you go up on it? Yeah. <gasps> Okay, before we finish today, I might try my hand at being a train conductor. <laughs> so as I was saying, Shimane is awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Look at it moves too. Careful, we might end up in our next prefecture, not by van, but by SL liner. <laughs> on that note, I think it's time for us to get back on the road and not the train tracks. Yeah! Let's go to the next Bye! Se no, Janine.